How's everybody doing today? Uh, today we're going to talk about the Stamina Night Blade build that I've been running. This is nowhere near my build. Um, I found it somewhere else. So uh, I'm not claiming that this is mine 100% or anything like that. This is just what I run. So today we're going to show you guys exactly what I mean. So let's get in the sets. Uh, let's look at the stat sheet first. Uh, almost 2800 weapon damage. Almost 40% spell crit. Almost 42k max stam. Uh, 16k health. Mind you, we are just sitting at a crafting station right now. Stam recovery was fully buffed out to 2400. On back bar, it is slightly more. It is 26. Magic recovery is at 900. Now, what we are running for food is we are running the dubious Cameron. We are a werewolf on back bar for the recovery. I have dropped Bowalt. We're using Atronach Mundus Stone just to get that magic recovery. Uh, you need to be able to cloak. Stay rolling. I do not have the traits I would like. I would like to have a in pen. So when you look at that character sheet, um, I will have more crit resistance eventually. Well, let's just get into this. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Set, 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 set. We are using the Great Sword of Truth. Um, Nernhound. Now what Truth does when you set an enemy off balance, your weapon damage increased by 440 for 10 seconds. Now you can set them off balance by roll dodging with CP. You can set them off balance by cloaking and hitting them with a the surprise attack. Um, sometimes you're just going to be standing there weaving attacks and they get set off balance. I don't understand how it happens, but either way this is proccing all the time. And it's an amazing set. Great pass, it gives us a max stam, weapon damage, and a crit, and then the 440, that's pretty much permanently up. Master bow, back bar, um, poison inject, increase your weapon damage by 301 against targets affected by your poison arrow, which is going to be the poison inject morph. Um, infused, because increase your weapon spell damage by 452 for 5 seconds, you can pretty much keep that permanently up. So the combo pretty much is you would light attack or medium attack whatever hit him with a poison inject cloak and then go into the surprise attack and cap do whatever blah 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 or if you're getting pressure try to get that roll dodge on the first or on the front bar and then go in for the surprise attack either way even if you don't have the weapon damage in chan up you still have the caustic arrow whatever caustic arrow set i don't know what the fuck that's supposed to be either way so like I said, everything should be in pen. This is just how I have it, unfortunately. So, Helm of Truth, Heavy. Um, you're going to want to run too heavy for this setup because that's the only way to get stamina. Jewelry, all robust, unless you want to run some healthy jewelry. I didn't want to. I wanted the biggest stamp pool possible. wanted to be hit hard, and plus the too heavy is... Makes you tankier, and you get a little bit magic back anyways from Constitution. Um... Curse of Truth, you want a heavy chest, you can run heavy legs or helm, they're both the exact same ratings, um, obviously you're not going to see because one's heavy, one's not, but it's the exact same armor ratings, so if you have a medium helm, then go with the medium helm and heavy legs, same shit, I just had a heavy helm, um, Dominus, one piece, medium, unfortunately, because we've already got our two heavy on here, and then the Bone Pirate. Um, it's up to you if you want to run a few pieces of well fitted. You guys see how tanky I am with really how many? Two pieces of impen? Yeah, I got two pieces of impen on. Oh, three pieces of impen on. So you guys see how tanky I am still with only having half impen. I have enough sustain that I feel that I can wear all impen. And I'm going to eventually. Uh, so either way, you'd want four of these on the body. One, two, three, four. One piece of jewelry. And then four min rings. <laughs> and I got a weapon damage, two stam recoveries. And you want four min rings because obviously they're dropping robust. As you see, truth is a heavy set, so standard jewelry will be heavy, but you can get robust rings from four min. And they drop in. I think Dark Shade 2 at the first boss, so it makes getting them very easy anyways 
Um, if it's not Dark Shade 2, then it's Dark Shade 1. And that is it for sets. Skills, we are running. The Poison Inject, this is back bar, by the way. Poison Inject, Leeching Strikes, just to give us that stam. Shuffle, obviously to not be snared, stay moving. Cloak, Vigor, Pack Leader, doesn't matter which morph you use, I just use it for the 15% extra stam recovery. Now I switched this up from Bow Alt because I found that I really wasn't dropping the Bow Alt. With how much extra recovery I got from this, I'd rather have that up. And to be honest, all that tankiness is coming really from me just dropping Vampire. Vampire makes you so squishy with how many people run Dawnbreaker, all those magic DKs, so we are a werewolf with this update. And I'm gonna stay like that. That is pretty much why we need to have that Atronach Mundus Stoner. Your magic recovery is gonna be bad shit. It's up to you. The stand recovery is enough. Uh, if you don't want to have that Atronach, go for weapon damage. If you don't want to play at that high of a stand recovery, you can also go. However, I know buffed out standing here out of stealth. Only got 2,800 weapon damage, but. Once truth kicks in, my passes from all that, the enchant, 301, I go up to like 4,000 weapon damage and maintain that recovery on the target. So it's enough burst. Just standing here now. Our end cap's already hitting for 16.5. That's gonna go up. Trust me, it's gonna go a lot harder. And, um,. That would really be it for that, so... Front bar surprise attack, that's what I was talking about, surprising... Or attack with surprise attack from sneaking or invisible stuns the enemy for 4.6 seconds and sets them off balance for 5 seconds. It's gonna proc our truth. Mass hysteria, that's for uh, your group AoE. Gives them a stun, try to burst the target off, gives minor maim, so it reduces some damage. Re gives them a snare, it's an amazing skill. Relentless focus on front bar, that's 8% more damage, a lot more recovery, and the bow obviously. Now obviously, with this update there was changes, and it got a huge vamp. Now as long as you're all in combat, it will stack, so say, you got to 3 light attacks, and uh, it ran out, you hit it again, you're going to start off at 3, so that means you only got a light attack 2 more times. If you have the proc, well, it expires as soon as you hit it again. You're going to still have your proc, so you can control your burst with it. It's really nice. Rally, obviously, it's a oh shit heal and our uh, extra weapon damage also. Ambush. You can use Stampede, however, there's the odd time where you do get that ambush into the end cap, and that extra damage is a nuke, especially when you're fully buffed out. And that's the time you are going to be fully buffed out is right after the ambush because what you're going to do is you just set your target off balance or something. You're at that long range. You weave your inject combo. So you just set off your uh, master bow and you most likely got the weapon damage proc from the bow because you just hit him with a lighter medium attack and you just hit him with an inject. Two chances to proc it. So obviously when you go right in for that ambush you're going to have that nuke and damage. And plus that extra 20%, it's going to be stupid. In cap, obviously, because it's broken as shit. We got some CP into um, Defile, so it gives him a nice, nice uh, healing to buff. Sorry, I'm a little bit out of it today. I'm so tired. I've been working all week. That's half the reason why I've waited all weekend. So I've barely slept. Um, I wanted to get into this since I was on the debuffing healing. We are using these poisons. These poisons are amazing. They're going to give you a healing buff and they're going to give your target a debuff. And uh, I'm just going to stack with your end cap. Very, very nice. So, uh, champion points. We have 19 in the Sprinter, 40 in the Warlord, 6 in the Bashing Focus, 56 in the Mooncalf, 19 in the Arcanist. 56 in the tumbling, 39 in the about or def, uh, can't even talk to foul. Five in the shadow ward. We don't do much blocking. 11 in the blast. Now this is where um, it's crucial, is you want this pass, so you need to have 120 points in here. You want it when you ro use a roll dodge, or when you use roll dodge, you dodge an attack to uh, send an enemy off balance. 
So anytime you roll, even if you're on your back break, you're going to set them off balance. And so like I said, you want 120 there. And I'm going to get into the other thing that actually goes with the off balance build too. Um, the physical weapon expert. I didn't want to put everything in the shattering blows because there's so many stamina users out there. So I split it half and half. You should be weaving medium attacks, light attacks on both. Um, on both bars, does this work with bows? Yes, it does. So you should be using uh, the weave. Everything we do is direct damage, so we put 56 in there, uh, 52 in the precise strikes, because you pretty much control crit damage coming out of cloak and stuff like that. A little bit extra in the pen penetration, just because we got those extra points. Now, the way I look at inject is it's an execute dot, really, and it really only does a lot of damage when it's an execute range. So I didn't put anything in the Thaumaturge because it's already getting a huge buff from the execute bonus. Now, ch -ch -ch. exploiter increase your damage done against off balance enemies by 10%. So even if you're setting your targets off balance on your bow bar, as long as you're weaving those inject combos, they're going to do more damage, 10% more damage. So having the CP split out here, it kind of evens out by getting this bonus and using this or using exploiter to your advantage so when you are going into burst you're gonna obviously learn how to use this set and you're gonna buff up your plan is to try to burst them on the off balance get that extra 10 percent damage not only that is the sweet thing about setting your targets off balance constantly is light and heavy attacks um, stun your targets for a few seconds so there's been times where somebody's ambushed in on me I've rolled out of it using an inject combo so cancel that inject roll and I've set them off balance and that bone arrow hits that light attack and they get stunned right at my feet hit them with my combo or something like that there's times where I've propped my um, my uh, my truth on my front bar and then I just go in and I weave a surprise attack. I know I just procced my truth, so I know I'm going to get that stun. I don't need to hit him with a mass hysteria. They're going to get the off balance. They're going to get the nuke from uh, this passive, so my surprise attack is going to do 10% damage. They're going to get the stun. And uh, they're going to proc truth. They're going to be fully buffed up pretty much at that point. So, um, this tree is 56 in ironclad, 41 in 2 resistance. We have 44 in a thick skinned, we have 37 and 43. Stamina, you're always roll dodging and everything, but curses, dark flares, DKs, there's so many undodgeable attacks and I find magic hurts slightly more. And then uh, we go for the 120 unchained. When you use break free to uh, cost you your next stamina ability, used within 5 seconds, reduced by 80% vigor, rally, excellent skills to come out after a break free. And then quick recovery just to give us that healing. Um, and I think that is everything. I think. You guys see two stamina recovery, one weapon damage. I should stat sheet and everything. Skills. This is one thing I wanted to show you. You do want to have your one piece passives also. No matter what, if you're ever doing undaunted passives, there's always one piece bonuses, and that's gonna help you out. For heavy armor, the two that I've got is I get extra resistances, the constitution I was talking about, so that's free at 216 every 4 seconds, that's like 100 extra stamina and magic recovery right there. Um, and then the extra health pool, so even if I was running light for say, light would give me the extra magic recovery, it would give me the reduced cost on the cloak, and it would give me that extra spell resistance. Medium, you don't really need this passive if you're a light armor build or something, because obviously you don't get anything from weapon crit, but then stamina recovery. And the cost of your stamina abilities. Then the sneak bonus and then movement speed and even roll dodge bonus so make sure you always have your one piece passives because they are going to benefit you a lot um, that is it I am a red guard so you guys see stamina recovery max stam and then uh, adrenaline rush 
amazing stat or amazing passive. I like it. So hope you got uh, hope you guys hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a great day.